it is, guys. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Man, you guys have been asking me to talk about this for the longest freaking time. I just got done moving into the new crib. You know what I'm saying? I got my room like halfway set up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do a, I mean, like a house tour video. You know what I mean? All of that good stuff. Now, this video is called The Legend of KT. The ultimate victim. Oh my God, dude. Peep game, right? First off, I've been taking care of my brother KT, both physically and financially, ever since we've been kids. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Ever since we grew up in the hood. Yeah, you know I mean, I done literally chased people down and had to beat them up for beating KT up for him talking shit. I done had him living with me in all my different houses. Y'all been seeing it over the years. So, KT, I haven't really seen a lot of his videos or whatever, man. Because because KT is feminine. The sound of KT's piss hitting the urinal, it sounds feminine. That's not because he's got a vagina and he's a transvestor or whatever those things is. It is because he refuses to work. He don't wanna make videos. He refuses to get a job. He refuses to buy his own food. He refuses to buy his own clothes. He refuses to do anything for himself. Expects me to do all all of that form. Now for the last 25 years, I've been doing that. Yeah, you know I'm saying if you ain't living with me, I'm sending money to help him on his bills. But way more than half that time has been him living with me in my houses and he's paying no bills. Not only that, but again, just like with Brandy and Randy and Chavez, I gave him a job. You know what I'm saying? Now you guys might not know this, but I was paying KT $50 for every video he was jumping in of mine so that he would have some walking around money. Now we all know somebody who refused uses to work is allergic to jobs just hates productivity the thing that sucks about these people is they always walk around preaching their ideals like kt will walk around no bullshit preaching the same shit randy used to preach about how having a job is modern day slavery and he ain't gonna be a slave to the white man and 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 he don't want to work for no white people and 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 all this other bullshit oh my god i <laughs> I'm actually laughing thinking about it. I, oh boy. Now, and all of that is all well and good, right? The part where I had an issue with KT is him feeling like he doesn't have to respect me or treat me good or the way I want to be treated while I'm paying all the bills where he live at. So basically, KT not only want to live with me, but off me. I've been dealing with this shit with KT since I first became a foster parent when I was like 19 and I took custody of KT and my other brother Levrites moved him in. KT would do nothing but complain and bitch and use distance and irritation. Just start arguments like a goddamn female for no reason, right? This is the reason why he's feminine. He started an argument for no goddamn reason and then used that to try to give me the silent treatment in my own fucking house. And then after the two, three days of him giving the silent treatment, then he starts talking shit around me so I can hear him, man, ugh, man, guy, to the point where I just offered a little nigga to fade. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm not with the shit. You know what I'm saying? You a grown ass man. Now he out in Cali bitching and moaning that he's homeless. Nigga, take your ass to Target and get you a fat white woman today, nigga. You know what I mean? Tax season right around the goddamn corner. Shit, you used to do the shit when you was young. You always had a fat white woman paying your bills. Go to a fucking yoga studio or some gym or something and get you a fat white woman, bro. Because it ain't going to be me. Either you treat me the way I want to be treated in my shit while I'm paying all the bills or you get the fuck out there is no in between there is no well i should still be able to live with him while giving him the silent treatment so let me break it all down y'all I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all the whole shit right not only have i been taking care of kt and feeding him and clothing him and housing him for the last 25 years for the last 10 of them years, I've been taking care of his fat girlfriend suit. Yeah, you know I'm saying his morbidly obese girl suit. The Stace Puff Marshmallow shaped female that he has around him all the time. The light skin upside down sack of potatoes built female. Yeah, you know I'm saying Harriet Tubman built female. Now the reason why I roast this porky the pig shaped female is because I remember I told y'all I feed KT and his girl, right? Now what I mean by I feed KT and his girl is they would come over into my house whenever I would go grocery shopping and steal over half my food and take it into their house. Cause you guys already know by now, I had KT his, in, his own entire house on my three house mansion compound. Yeah, you know I mean, realized it was way too much space 
niggas was getting away with way too much bullshit in places where I couldn't see if they was doing bullshit. Now mind you, I never had a problem with Sue and my brother coming over and taking all of my food that I would go grocery shopping. I think I would just go grocery shopping again. But the issue I had is about five months ago, KT started giving me the silent treatment. Like, oh, you know, like I don't want you here in my own house and I'm paying all the bills. Like, can you, can y'all imagine that? Someone living with you that's not contributing to the household in any way is literally a living bill. That nigga is a living bill. He's a subtraction on whatever motion you got popping. You know what I'm saying? Now I ain't had no problem taking care of him for this long because you know, I figure he's my brother. We grew up in the hood and we had to make it out of a lot of really hard situations. So with that being said, I was like, yo, I elected to keep the family together even if I had to pay to keep us all together, which is what I've been doing. Ever since I started playing poker, I've been paying to keep my entire family together. That's why I pay my mom's rent. That's why I was paying my big sister and all of her kids rent at one point, but threw them niggas the fuck out because, you know, <laughs> them niggas ain't shit. But that's a different story time for a different day. And I was housing, paying for, and, you know, giving my brother a job. Like, I, I, was, I was paying for all of his stuff as well. You know what I'm saying? That's why he was living with me. I've always fronted all of the bill for everything we've gone and done. With that being said, my brother, he is one of the best gaslighters I have ever met in my life. This nigga refuses to operate in reality, which makes sense because reality makes him look like a fucking idiot, a mooch, a couch surfer, the worst type of fucking human being. And the reason why I say he's the worst type of human being is not because he's lying and attacking me, right? I expect as much, you know what I'm saying? I'm used to, I'm not new to this. I'm used to this, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit. This is the internet. I know how it works. Him lying and saying my stories are fake and, and I'm putting spells on him and, and, and I'm Black Harry Potter just with, you, with using evil. I'm, I'm Voldemort in this nigga. That's what he's telling people, which is a gaslight because it don't operate in any realm of truth, nigga. Any of y'all know magic? <laughs> When's the last time y'all been able to put a spell on a motherfucker at work? Please, please, <laughs> please. So like I was saying, him attacking me is not an issue for me. I don't care, right? I'm very much used to it. I grew up in, I grew up in the hood and foster care, nigga. There's nothing he can say that I'm gonna fall for. But the issue I do have with KT is he's attacking our mother. KT, you're being a real fucking piece of shit for the shit you're saying to my mother. Shut your bitch ass the fuck up and go get a goddamn job or a white woman at Target like you usually fucking do. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Go find someone else to fucking mooch off of. See, KT, he has this thing. If he, he's been learning and listening to women for too fucking long. He's a fucking moron now because what women tell him is oh no just be as disagreeable and and as distant and as shitty to the people that have the biggest bond to you and then they'll they'll come around and apologize to you and then you'll get a raise you'll get raised from couch surfer to master bedroom haver and then you get to do all whatever other weirdo shit you want to do in their house and then you got the power and he paying all the bills and that's what you do just never treat him good and he'll always chase you treating him good but you just keep treating them like shit, keep them down there. No, nigga. You know what I mean? That shit don't work here, bro. Like I said, nigga, tax return is around the corner. Go get you a morbidly obese white woman, bro. You know what I mean? Get the fuck away from me and my mom. Like, leave us alone. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, the problem I have with KT is he's attacking my mom. My mom came over last night and she needed to talk because she saw some of KT's videos bad mouthing her. Bad mouthing. You bad mouth me all you want, KT. Say whatever you want, bro. I'm surprised you have haven't been on that, you know, Chavez, he's a pedophile, even though Chavez literally, literally admits to fucking a 16 year old and then marries the chick. Like, have Skidden take a lie detector test and have Chavez take a lie detector test. Oh boy. <laughs>
Oh boy, you can't make this shit up. But turns around and says, I'm doing the shit, bro. Oh boy, with no proof. And then has the nerve to won't share a story about when he saw me doing it because the shit never happened. And he know he don't want to go to jail for defamation of character, nigga. He lucky I just don't come to the projects he live in and beat his ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I know that. I still know where that nigga live at. He's still living in the same place, I think. With that being said, KT has been going around bringing up my mom's drug past. You know what I mean? My mom, look, there's stuff I've been keeping off the internet. You know what I'm saying? But apparently... We gotta tell it because this bitch ass nigga is just gonna keep laying into the shit and disrespecting my mom and her past in front of my whole fan base in order to get me to cave to take care of the bitch ass nigga, bro. Just get a job, dude. Stop being a female, bro. Get a job. We gonna talk about the bullshit if he shuts the fuck up. So yo, so KT, I know you're watching this video. You keep talking greasy about our mom, bro. I'ma tell all these niggas what you really doing. I'ma tell these niggas about your lifestyle, bro. I'm for real. We gonna do all that. Leave our mother out of it. She does deserves her peace you feel me she don't deserve to see you on here fucking lying and just trying to say anything to, you know go after oh it's not gonna work when i'm disrespecting and coming at maurice he don't care it just he just keep doing his thing well i'm gonna go at her mom and and i'm gonna make her have a mental breakdown and and that'll that'll teach him to, to do what i say and to pay my bills and and to let me mooch because i deserve to mooch i i'm the one that built all my Maurice's fan base. I'm the one that spent all those hours making videos and 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 learning the craft and and you know while he was working, I was laying on the couch and and that is a part of working. So he deserve he should let me. I deserve to still be getting paid and him sending me money and and me living with him in a free room, nigga. So yeah. So like I said, KT, either shut the fuck up about our mom or I'm gonna tell everybody what it really do about your ass, bro. And you know I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you want, how bad do you want to be the laughing stock of your own fan base, dummy? I can do it. I can make a whole KT special, nigga. I know how to edit documentaries and everything. Please, please. I don't care what he say about me or whatever. I'm not new to this. I'm used to this. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's bringing up my mom's drug past. He's, you know, trying to say, oh, well, you're not my mom. Again. He expects my mom to come to me to convince me to take him back, to let him live with me again and all this other, after doing all the dumb shit he did. Okay, so peep game, right, nigga? <laughs> So all the stuff KT is telling people on in the videos or whatever on his channel, that stuff he's been telling people behind my back for the longest time. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm better than him. And he just, he doesn't want anyone knowing I'm better than him. Just like Brandy, just like Randy. So what they do in turn is turn around and try to bash my name to convince people that I'm not such a good person. You know what I mean? But they don't never have no evidence and they don't never have no jacked up stories because I ain't doing no grimy shit. So what do they always retort to? They never stick to reality. You'll notice a pattern that everyone that's ever come after me never sticks to reality. You know what I mean? Because the reality isn't drama-filled enough. No one's gonna give a shit if niggas tell the truth about me. Like, yeah, this nigga's a weed-smoking gamer, man. Eh? Like, there's a bunch of those. No one gives a shit that likes to make videos on the internet, bro. That shit don't sound that drama-filled, but it's real drama-filled if someone can say, oh, he, he likes kids, and oh, he's he's a raping cats, and oh, he's into poop play, and oh, I, he's dragged his balls across the Hollywood sign. Like, what? Good lord. So KT has been telling people that I'm putting spells on him. That's his whole thing. Oh, well, the only reason why he is more famous than me is because he put he put a spell on me and has been sucking my energy using his magical Harry Potter incantations, which has been making him have clout and money and me not. When in all actuality, I play poker like 10 hours a day, damn near. And, you know, I'm doing videos to, to get my name on the internet. In all actuality, I just work really hard but someone like KT doesn't want to work hard so they'll skirt all of the work you do and then just blame it on Harry Potter spells nigga I like I'm somewhere in a house like instead of me working and shooting videos and playing poker a bunch I'm somewhere in a dark house wearing a long cape and 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 a and a, and a hat that look just like the sword and hat and I got like two people on each side of me and I'm I got like a huge I'm standing in front of a huge cauldron that's filled 
with clear and or brown mystery liquid, probably green in all actuality. And on top of the green mystery liquid, it's like bubbling real crazy, right? And on top of the bubbles is a bunch of mist just coming out of the cauldron. And the whole time I'm sitting there like Expelliarmus, Wingardium, Leviosar, Boil, Boil, Toil and Trouble, KT's Clout Small, and BHD's Double. Nigga, that, so mind you, about five months ago, this nigga literally told me and my mom he was about to become a shitbag, right? And the way he did that was one day, about five months ago, he tells my mom, I think Maurice is gonna stop taking care of me. I think he's gonna cut me off. To which case, we would all wonder, why would you think that, KT? Did you know the shit you were about to start doing? I think he did, because it's right about that time that he said that to my mom, because my mom came and told me, this nigga started becoming super distant towards me. Not only that, but he started treating me like he didn't want me anywhere near him. Now, me and KT, we smoke a shit ton of weed. You know what I'm saying? I see KT one day, he's walking to his house through the property, and you know, I'm walking to my house, I got a blunt in my hand. I'm like, yo, okay, hey, yo, Chris, you trying to smoke? Usually, every time he's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll smoke, we'll listen to music, we'll play games, we'll crack jokes, all that good stuff. But this time, he sees me, he's like, no, 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 uh, 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 no, 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 hell no, no, uh, uh, uh. Basically saying, you know, I don't really fuck with you like that. You offer someone that smokes as much weed as KT does a free blunt, <laughs> and they say no, they don't fuck with you. It's just clear cut, right? But even then, I'm like, okay, you know, it doesn't matter. Maybe he's having a day. Now, mind you, now, about three weeks later, I went and bought a, a like $500 worth of groceries, right? I was balling on the budget at the time, so I was spent the mostly all of my money on keeping my whole household fed, right? Spent $500 on groceries, only for KT to send the large amount of pudding in a Ziploc bag built female Sue to come and ransack my pantry and took $400 worth of damn food, damn near everything, right? Took it back to their house and then closed the door, won't open it for shit. I'm just like, yo, like, bro, we, we, you just took everything we had. Like, what we gonna do? You know, I made it work. I figured it out. I, I, I you know, I played poker. I made some more money and went and bought more food. But I'm just like, bro. And mind you, that's always been fine, right? I've never said anything to them for getting food because everyone's gotta eat. Now, the part where I did start having an issue with them coming getting food is for some reason, KT thinks I want his fat woman, right? Oh boy. To the point where he tells Sue that I'm trying to put a love spell on her. And the only way to counter the love spell is to treat me like shit to my face. That's the way he says to counteract the love spell that I supposedly am putting on his fat bitches. Oh boy. Which is another reason why he can't live with me. At least this way, I'm not after his fat women. Oh boy. Anybody out there ever seen me with some fat women? <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> For the next three, four times where I catch Sue in my pantry raiding all of my food supply, the bitch, now most of the time she'd be like, oh, oh hey Maurice, and give me a wave, and then you know, take the food and roll out. I'm like, oh that's what's up, you know, do your thing. And I'll go the other way, and then she'll go take the food, and everything be cool. But for the last four, five times, I saw her in my pantry raiding my cabinets. She look at me and it's like, oh God, oh, no, don't talk to me, don't talk to me, please. Oh God, don't, no, 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 no. I'm talking like I don't know what he told her about me, but it made her start treating me like I'm like a the, the, the worst person in the world. And you know what? That's fine. That's fine. After the fifth time, I went to KT's door and told him, don't let me catch her in any of my houses taking food. She's not allowed in any of my houses. I don't want to see her. Now, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna throw y'all out. I'm not gonna trip. It's cool. I don't want him. I don't want her anywhere near my houses. I don't want to see her around. You know what I mean? Because y'all ransacking my food is fine. But you having a attitude of disgust towards me while you're mooching, literally mooch munching, mooching off of me. I need money, food, everything. Look at that. Jesus. Now mind you, the whole time he's been here, he's never paid a bill. And some of you would think, well, he's never has money. He does. He spends it on himself. Oh boy, this nigga went and spent a thousand dollars on security cameras for the house that I let him use, right? So that when he locked the door, he was planning on squatting there for the longest time, pretty much, and being disrespectful to me and my team to try to get us to stay away from him while he squatted, thinking that that would work. Like, oh boy. So after that, I was like, you know what? But okay, I, I see what's good, you know? But I still wasn't even gonna put him out then. Wasn't even gonna put him out after him and his girl are treating me like shit in my own fucking house while literally eating off me. All my food, mooching, everything. Every time I went out to buy clothes, I bought KT clothes. You know what I'm saying? All the stuff you see him wear, I bet the stuff he wears looks real fucking familiar. The athletic wear, the whatever the hell you call it, the, the, the fighting club athletic wear. 
all that, I bought him. Whenever I would buy me clothes, I bought him clothes. All of his jewelry he had, I bought that for him. You think he bought it for himself? No. Had him chains, had him watches. I got him the same stuff I would get me. You know what I'm saying? What did he do with that stuff? He sold it. He sold it all. You know what I mean? Because he didn't want to work. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even say nothing when he sold it. That's all well and good. You know why KT was able to start doing YouTube? Guess who bought all of his equipment? Call myself paying it forward, you know? Like, oh, you know, I got blessed on YouTube and I got blessed with a bunch of, you know, equipment. Me. I've got nothing but a bunch of love from the internet for the most part, you know. So you know what I'm gonna bless, I'm gonna bless my bros. So who, so who better to pour these blessings onto than KT? I've bought KT entire, entire busloads of equipment. I'm talking computers. Every time I buy this nigga a setup to do YouTube, he'll come to me telling me how much he wants to do YouTube. Please, please help me. I don't have a camera or a computer. I bought him a camera, computer, multiple different occasions, like 17 different occasions. DSLR camera, which is $2,000. Brand new computer and monitor, which is another freaking $3,500. Bought him all the equipment he needed to start doing YouTube 17 times. I bet you guys are probably wondering well, why'd you need to buy it for him 17 times guess what he did with the stuff he would not post videos and then when he ran out of money because he didn't work or post videos he would go and sell all the stuff i bought him every day all day every single time pawn it at insult to injury you get like one tenth of what it's worth pawn it but he didn't care because he didn't value it because he didn't buy it right this <laughs> yo oh yeah you know what i mean so for the last year and a half you guys wonder why kt ain't been posting nothing but them little bitty shitty quality phone videos which is off the phone that i bought him too bought him all of his phones everything he has in his house i bought him nigga so you guys are wondering why he's been posting those type of videos is because he sold all of the computer equipment that I got him to do videos with. Everything. The phones, the cameras, the blah, 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 everything. Sold it all, right? <laughs> so after he sells everything, he comes to me with another sob story. Maurice, oh my God, I want to do YouTube videos. I just don't have equipment. And, all this. and after 17 times, even with him, I'm seeing, I saw the pattern, bro. I just didn't buy him anything else. I'm not, I'm not fucking doing it. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to spend like fucking four Gs or I'm going to spend like two racks. I'm going to spend like two racks on getting him a whole brand new setup for him to sell it in three weeks. I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. If that's the case, I'll just spend it on something I want. You know what I'm saying? I'm not freaking doing it. So I want you guys to imagine that, right? You're paying all the bills in your house and you let one of your brothers or sisters come and live with you. They're not paying any bills. They're not putting up anything. They're not helping out with any food. They eat all of your food. They drag all of your food into their room. You know what I mean? You go out and buy $500 worth of stuff, come home, $100 of it's left and the rest of it's in this room and the door's locked. And then they treat you like, no, don't talk to me. He don't want nobody to talk to him about reality because in reality, the nigga a piece of shit. That's why. But so mind you, I approached KT, even after all of the shit he's done, I approached him three weeks before we moved. And I went to his house and I told him, you know, granted it's literally uh, just on the other side of my pool. I was like, yeah, moving in three weeks, got a brand new house. I got you a room in the house. You ain't got to pay no bills as usual. All you got to do is be nice to my employee. Cause he's tried to fight one of my white employees. He tried to fight one of my employees. So out of all the niggas I had around my crib and he would single out the, the most defenseless acting and looking white boy and try to fight this nigga. Like, and the guy's a real good friend of mine. And he tries to, he tries to fight the guy. Uh, so I go to KT and tell him, yo, you can't do that. What are you doing? And he's like, no, man, you know, the guy was coming at me. I'm like, bro, the guy's like 130 pounds. You're 250. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? You can't, you cannot be trying to fight and disrespect the people that's in my crib, bro. He's like, no, man, I mean. So yeah, even with that, tell me why this mook. Then he tells me, you know what? I want the master bedroom. I, w I, w I want a big bedroom. I don't want a regular bedroom. I want a big bedroom. So I go to his door. He opens it up. I'm like, yo, you know, we moving in three weeks. So I'm like, oh, and he's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. That's what's up. So you found a house? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I found a house. You know, everything was cool, come and collected, right? Great. So I'm like, yeah, you know, you moving in a new house with us, right? And he's like, um, can I get a big bedroom this time? Like a big bedroom? Well, like either the garage or a master bedroom or can I, I want a big bedroom. And I'm like, no, I got you a regular bedroom. You can't have the garage. You can't have a master bedroom. You can have a regular size bedroom and you and Sue will get that room. He's like, nah, I'm not doing it. I'd rather be outside. I'd rather be homeless. I'm gonna sleep on the floor. I'd rather sleep outside. I'd rather sleep in a tent outside than move to a house with a regular bedroom. And I'm like, well, that's the only option. There is no option for you to get a master bedroom or the garage. My garage is my arcade and, and the master bedroom is mine. You can have a regular room. He's like, no, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You're trying to control me. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then he slams the door in my face and yells through the door, go live with the white people. I don't want nothing to do. You go live with the white people. I'm not doing this. So I'm like, yo, um, uh, what are you talking about? I'm like, Chris, open the door. I'm not gonna argue with you through the door. At least open the 
door so we can talk about this because it's not that big of a deal bro and before he closed the door i made sure that i'm like yo we got to be out of here by this date otherwise i don't get my security deposit back and they charge me a whole extra month and i'm getting in a whole bunch of legal trouble i'm gonna get sued like we all gotta go he's like no i'm not going then he slams the door in my face i'm not going nowhere uh -uh. they gonna have to come in here and get me i'm like bro after the lease is up the police gonna come and get you he's like no i got squatters rights i got two months he did research this was his plan his plan was to squat in the crib i'm like bro you costing me 35 racks right now bro 50 it was a 15 thousand dollar security deposit right and the rent was not too far off of that per month right so i'm telling him i'm like yo you know like you're really screwing me really bad bro like by by not moving out when we gotta go i'm gonna lose the relationship with the mansion owners so that means i can't never come back i can't ever rent the place again i can't ever shoot here you know what i'm saying plus they're gonna sue me so after all of this he slams the door and he's like i'm I ain't going nowhere i'm not doing what you tell me no you're not my boss of me you can't tell me what to uh uh they gonna have to get the police to come up in here and get me and that's the reason why he can't live with me he listens to women and then he comes and tries to apply that shit to me like that's not how that works so now he's yelling at me through the door a whole bunch of disrespectful shit cursing and all this other bullshit you know and mind you i'm being cool right now because at the end of the day i could just kick in his door and beat him up bad enough as to where this nigga got to be in the hospital for for a month until i move out the crib i could very easily do that right i've already beaten this nigga half to death we already got into a life or death fight i choked this nigga. i put this nigga in a real naked choke because he had a knife and he started stabbing me put him in a real naked choke nigga go to sleep wake up throwing up blood i open up his eyes why the shit freaks out and runs for his life oh my god you got yeah you know i mean like bro like stop trying to fight me stop trying to come at me sideways in my shit like you a man or some shit bro like nigga stop trying to act like a female and being a man at the same time the shit don't coagulate so with that being said i was like you know i'm not gonna do none of that i'm not about to go back to jail again and i'm not about to fucking hurt this fucking bastard even no, no matter how fucking shitty he's being so i'm like all right cool whatever whatever right you you screw me over you completely just fuck me over that's fine but because it is because you going out of your way to fuck me out of my security deposit and squatting the crib and losing me relationships with people and you know just 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 and then disrespecting me at the same time and then being dismissive like i'm the one who's being shitty to you or i'm doing horrible shit when you're having sue come steal all my food and then when i see her i'm like yo what's up sue? oh god no don't talk to me oh oh god oh god please oh because kt done told her that i'm trying to put a fucking spell on the bitch and then i i'm i'm all over fat bitches like bruh you know what i'm good you can't live with me you know what i'm saying you know why kt because you're gonna do the same shit you did at that crib here i'm not doing it i'm not going through it man you know what i mean because in a year two or three or four or five when i decide to move from this crib this nigga not gonna want to move again he gonna decide ah, i got the control now you can't tell me where to go and if that's the case that's all well and good that means you a grown man congratulations kt you just graduated and became a grown ass man now take care of your goddamn self like a grown ass man do you want to make executive grown man decisions nigga well the number one executive grown man decision is gonna be how you gonna take care of yourself you know what i mean how about you make another executive grown man decision and stop trying to cause our mother to have a mental breakdown because you feel like if you can force her to cave and come over and cry and 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 yo you gotta take care of your brother you gotta be his cuck you you gotta let him cut you just please so that he can stop saying all this horrible stuff about me I mean, you figure if you can get her to go do that then i'm gonna cave nigga i'm not go fuck yourself go be free nigga see why would you want to live with me if i'm putting spells in? the shit i can't ever understand is if you dislike me so much what the fuck you need me for you got your shit you got 25 years of getting to live off and loathe on the nigga get out and do it to somebody else nigga you got the skills to do it just go do it somewhere else what the fuck you gotta be trying to you know shit on my mom's mental health for and all the other dumb shit you doing nigga you know what i mean you feminine you're fucking female because that's what you're acting like you want to be on your own you don't want me around you're dismissive oh god get away from me he's he's putting spells on me and that's the reason why he's got clout and i don't and and that's the reason why he makes money playing poker and i don't it's not because he studied hard and puts in the hours and work it's because he's put a spell on me when all actuality you just won't freaking work this is the ballad of a shitty nigga you know what i mean like a ballad of the world's greatest fucking victim kt
You're a grown ass man, bro. You're buff as shit. You're like a top 25%. You can you can beat up 75 to 80% of dudes. Why don't you go and take all that skill and shit and go live off another motherfucker that needs you so much they're willing to put up with your shit? Cause I'll tell you, it ain't me. And the main reason why I say KT is feminine and he acts like a fucking female is because if you go and you look at his video titles, you can see he's trying to, he's trying, this nigga is saying feminist fucking masculine bitch, masculine female shit. You know what I mean? Look at, oh, they only argue with you because they want you to stay. Nigga, since when did you become a strong black woman, motherfucker? So you wanna yell at me and disrespect me and argue and, and hurl? bullshit at me so that I'll stay? Go take that bullshit some fucking where else, bro. If you homeless, be homeless, nigga. You know what I mean? You the man, ain't you? You was the man. You was talking all that shit. You was the man. You talking, trying to turn the people against me and have Sue talk shit to me and be shitty to me and you know what I mean? Like, while well, I'm still paying all your renting bills and then you cost me 35 freaking racks by squatting in the crib. All right, so peep game. So me and all my people, we move out. I just kept working, kept doing what I'm supposed to do and then just, just took it on the chin. This nigga's yelling and screaming at me through the freaking door and I'm like bro I'm not about to argue with you through a door bro either you open the door and we talk this out like men or you ain't moving with me nigga think I care where you go if you're not gonna be agreeable motherfucker I don't even let women slide with this stupid shit think I'm gonna let a dude do it just cause he my brother from what he say we ain't brothers so thanks for that now nah, I really ain't gotta give a fuck about you good job see the problem with Christian is he's trying to use distance and irritation the same way the strong black feminist bitches do you know what I'm saying but it don't work if you're a man this is why you gotta stop taking advice from women you know why because women got pussy to fall back on, nigga. You don't. Boom. Women can say all of this cockamamie, flu flam, stupid shit. They can do all this dumb shit because at the end of the day, there's no. they know 90% of dudes are willing to have sex right then and give you everything they own in order to do it. It don't work like that if you're a grown ass man. It really don't. And you know how I know it don't? Because if it did, you wouldn't be bitching. So mind you, we still arguing through the damn door. This nigga tells me, if you want to talk to me, no, you just got to look up at the cameras. I'm not opening the door. You, no, nah, just look up at the cameras if you want me to see you. Nigga, what? Cameras? What? I look up this nigga done installed security cameras on my house he was planning the squat the whole time that's why he told my mom i think maurice is gonna cut me off and not let me live because he knows how i am you know i'm gonna do that why do the stupid shit if you know what i'm gonna do so you know how i am you gonna cross my boundaries do the stupid shit and i'm the one that's supposed to be the bigger man and just let it fly no nigga because if i let that slide next thing you know it's gonna get worse if he move here way worse way more disrespectful and I'm gonna end up beating that nigga half to death again and then dragging him out of my house. I would put him in the hospital and I'm not gonna do that. I'm not I'm not gonna break his arms and legs. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna put him in the hospital. I, I'm just not gonna let him move with me. No, I'm not about to have no argument with no nigga through my door at my house where I'm paying all the bills. He on his own, you know what I mean? And this is why you can't never believe Chris, no matter what shit he talks about him being a victim, whatever, whatever. He could Because he can afford security cameras, them is expensive looking cameras, he can afford all of that. But he can't afford to feed clothes, house himself, any of that shit. He can, he just don't want to do it himself. He got money in the bank. He just don't want to spend his own money because he's feminine. He bitch made. He's like a chick now. Your money is our money and my money is my money. He one of them type of niggas. I'm not doing it. I was down to do it because he's my brother, but if I'm not going to be treated right, I don't give a fuck. Go somewhere else. Yeah, good luck. So now he's half trying to act like the victim, right? Trying to get me to cave and apologize. Oh, like he was the one right in all the situation. And as a man, he's, he's never been wronger in his goddamn life anybody out there who's paying any of their own bills is gonna be like what the fuck did he expect you to do I, I what and anyone out there who is a career fucking mooch who never pays their own way in any shit they're gonna be like oh man that's fucked up you're supposed to love them unconditionally you're supposed to care about i don't do none of that shit i don't even do that shit with females yo i'm not i, I don't love nobody unconditionally nigga you know what i mean i'm not doing it no you know what i mean my love got conditions nigga i got boundaries i'm not doing it if i wasn't paying all the bills and fronting the cost to be the boss i wouldn't give a shit but motherfuckers will try to get in on your tribe not pay any cost to be the boss and just try to toxicity their way into being a boss. And you know what toxicity in your way into trying to be a boss and into the leadership role gets you? It gets you with Chavez, Brandy, Randy, and now KT guy. On your own, motherfuckers. Is <laughs> good luck. After looking at the security cameras, I realize that this is a plan. There's no point in arguing or trying to get him to see reason. Number one, because he's feminine, so by law, they're usually unreasonable. You know what I mean? The nigga's a whole feminist now. There ain't no logic in feminists. 
especially no logic and feminine dudes because you know like if there's logic he has to admit that he's a chick one of my things is i'm not about to argue with a female because there's no resolution it's all gaslighting and then when you prove a female wrong they just start hurling hurtful shit like what he's doing to my mom bringing up her drug past saying she never loved him disrespecting my mom to all of these people my own fan base that i gave to him to you know in order to help him out too but he's turned trying to turn it against me to get me to cave nigga i don't give a fuck so yeah like i said you know i don't argue with women and i see kt as a woman he is a full-fledged woman you know what i'm saying that's what i see kt as because he won't ever take care of himself he won't get out get shit on his own and and fucking take care of himself like nigga i'm not those sugar daddy nigga you know what i mean like nigga so i just leave you know what i mean and he's posting videos saying cryptic shit you know what i mean like just y'all know how he do you know what I mean? And, and he was cool. He was cool because he was finally the king of crib. Yeah, this is my crib. Yeah, yeah. For five days until all the electricity, water, and everything else got cut off in the crib, right? Because, you know, it's all under my name. It costs a lot of money to live there every day and pay all the bills per day. I'm not paying the daily bill for that shit just so he could squat in my shit after he's cost me my whole security deposit, all of the money I'm putting in the crib. He cost me the relationship with the mansion people, everything. So I'm like, okay. So I cut off all the utilities. Then this nigga starts posting videos about how i'm praying on his downfall how i'm putting curses on him and blah 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 anything he could tell his female to convince his female that he's still the leader of some shit right so then seven days after that the fuck the real owners of the house show up with the police and they throw him out and then he became homeless you know what i mean so now his tactic is to try to disrespect me and say anything he can to my fan base to get me to apologize and cave to him so i'll let him come back and mooch off me some more now everything's cut i have no time with him good luck nigga you know what i mean get your shit together you know what i mean but not before letting everybody know what you really into out this motherfucker you know what i'm saying in the words of the late great will smith and just you know just a little bit of alteration on there keep my mom's name out your goddamn mouth or i'm just gonna tell everybody what it really do about your ass and i'm gonna drop stories and receipts and you're gonna get laughed off the internet nigga you're gonna get roasted by everybody so keep it up Keep being stupid, you know what I mean? You want to be on your own, because if you didn't, you wouldn't have came at me sideways, you know what I mean? You want to do all this shit to try to push a nigga away, and then when the nigga leave, you want to be just like the strong black women feminists, you know what I mean, who can't never get a man. If you ever want to do that shit, just do what Chris is doing. Be as distant and irritable as possible. Create as much bullshit as you can. Prey on the people around you's mental state. Nigga, the problem with him doing that to me, nigga, my mental is insanely stronger than yours, KT. There's nothing you can do except go your own way and build your own shit. I'm not letting you anywhere around my shit anymore. So you ain't gonna be able to sabotage my shit. Like I'm not, I'm not doing it. And get this, he only wants to be in my tribe so that he can try to turn the people in my tribe against me, my employees, my friends, my people. He wants to badmouth me to them and try to try to get them to turn on me because he feels I'm better than him. Him. because in reality and on paper i am in every way shape and or form and he knows it you know that's why he operates out of reality oh well he's making spells on me oh well he wants to be with the white people he's not my brother and my mom is a piece of shit my mom's the problem and who the fuck attacks their own mom did you learn that from becoming a feminist too you stupid piece of shit is that where you learned that at? like who the, who the fuck talk with like nigga if kt shuts the fuck up and just keeps talking about me like we all don't give a fuck that he's doing because you know it's, we've seen it what four or five times before with brandy randy chavez uh you know brandy uh, both randy and chavez bone skitting when she was underage freaking brandy is just ugly and yeah, you know I mean, like, and now this nigga, he's attacking his own mother's mental state in order to try to get his brother to cave in and let him mooch off of him again so that he won't have to take care of himself like the grown ass man that he's been acting like he's like. And that's the problem with feminists. Down with the patriarchy, but also, hell no, I ain't paying that shit. I don't pay my own bills, but down with the patriarchy. But yeah, this was his whole plan. He planned on squatting. And if it didn't go his way, like he knew it more than likely likely wasn't gonna because he knows the type of person I am he just falls back on trying to bad mouth me to my fan base that I gave to him to try to get me to cave and then when that shit don't work he just relies heavily into shitting and bad mouthing our mother my mom 
mom is up there in age. She's already older. Shut your bitch ass up, Christian. Shut the fuck up, nigga. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I wouldn't air him out if he was disrespecting me. But I will air him out if he wants to keep preying on my mother's mental state and disrespecting her. Shut your bitch ass up, Christian, before I tell everybody what it really motherfucking do. Get your bitch ass a job or go find you an overweight white woman from Target or Walmart or Kinko's or whatever the fuck it is, nigga. Because income tax season is right around the goddamn corner. Niggas will fight tooth and nail to dodge work, to dodge a job application. But if you fought half as hard on building your own shit the way I did, then you wouldn't need to do none of this. But if he did that, that would make him a man, nigga. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. You know what I mean? I can't tell you how much more at peace I am in my new crib now that KT is not here. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, man, I, oh my God. I, have great time, I feel the great energy in my crib. And he's mad because he understands the longer I don't cave, the higher chances I will never cave because I'm enjoying my goddamn peace. You know what I mean? I've been fighting my whole goddamn life, fighting mentally and physically, nigga. And I can tell you that because I've been fighting your battles for you, KT, all your mental and physical ones. Your mental ones, that's why I've been taking care of all of your bills. And your physical ones, I've had to defend you from every person that I've ever seen bully you. I've never had someone bully him in front of me and he fight the motherfucker. It's always me. He's one of these, I'm just going to sit there and take it. And then get mad at a dude who's smaller than me later. So yeah, man. You know what I mean? Get your shit together. Leave our mom alone. It makes you really bitch made you coming for our mother. You know what I mean? Come for me. Say what you will. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, did, oh, what? Uh, Blast Miss HD is 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 R Kellying and 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 Jeffrey Dahmering and 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 Bob Hoping. I don't even know. I don't know who Bob Hope is. I meant Bob Saget. Damn it. I I like that guy. He was great on Full House. But yeah, shut your bitch ass the fuck up, nigga. Go get a real job like the man that you've been trying to portray that you are. Hey, look on the bright side. At least nobody can put spells on your fat woman. Huh? No one can put spells on your fat bitch. Huh? Nobody can put spells on your Garfield stomach having ass female yeah i mean god good lord man <laughs> almost threw up uh, a little bit but yeah yeah i mean um good luck i hear it's hard out there